This is the Football Radio Show Sunday Six Pack. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Six Pack where we crack open six of the tastiest stories in the NFL. Hello, sir. Hello. Mmm. Did you see me class it up? With the wow, that's nice. What week is it, man? <laughs> it is week five and the action was wow. hot. Smoking hot, baby. Yeah. Let's go ahead and head on down to KC where the Chiefs were hosting the Jags and the Chiefs win this one 30 to 14. Yeah, dude, two of the top teams in the AFC. Obviously, an offense versus defense kind of a matchup. Defense wins here. championships, Dave. <laughs> not regular season, though, KC, oh, yeah. apparently. Uh, there was just, for the Jags, just not enough TJ Yeldon in this game and too much Bortles. Yeah. Okay, 61 passes. Bortles, um, what? 61 what? passes, dude. Mm. 430 yards. Most of that in garbage time, though. Five turnovers for Bortles, including a pick six. This game was 20 to nothing at half, and the game was officially over at that point in time. Yeah, but good news for the rest of the league. Pat Mahomes is human. Two <laughs> interceptions, right. no D- TD passes. He did run one in, yeah. but didn't need to do much today. But that Chiefs, man, juggernaut. Wow, no doubt about it, dude. Hey, speaking of juggernauts, um, you might have heard of this thing called Amazon. It's pretty good. It's a place where you can buy stuff. If you like Amazon and want to support the Football Radio Show, before you buy anything, head over to footballradioshow.com. Yeah, just click on our Amazon link. It takes you right on over to Amazon. It won't cost you a dime. might make us a couple of bucks. Yeah, we appreciate it. Number five. All right, up next, Casey, it was the Baltimore Ravens at your Cleveland Browns. The Browns win this one 12-9 in overtime. Woo! What yeah, those rounds? baby, when the chips are down, you just open it up, sprinkle a little Mayfield magic That's on it, right. and shake and bake, baby. <laughs> wow, it wasn't pretty, but he saved his best for overtime, drove the brownies down there, got them in field goal position, nice. and they just knocked that thing through, man. These brownies love overtime, huh? Dude, I'll tell you, man, that is amazing. Three overtime games. They are 1-1-1. One, yeah. one, and one. All right. <laughs> also, oddly, another no-touchdown game. The second one this year. Weird. Factory of sadness, baby. <laughs> Closed on Sunday. It's been a while, but <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> They're feeling good. All right. Number Up next, four. we had a battle of three and one teams in the AFC. It was the Dolphins at the Bengals, and the Bengals win this one, dude, 27-17. to 17. Yeah, no doubt, man. We we're going to find out which team was for real, and it looked like Miami was that team stepping up as they had a 17 to nothing lead. They were dominating this football game early, and that's when the Cincinnati Bengals turned things around, scoring 27 unanswered points. A couple of defensive scores yeah. there to get him tied and then take the lead there. Dalton with the big game. Joe Mixon coming back off that knee injury, playing well. And A.J. Green also, as usual, producing. Yeah, dude, and the Finns, man, started 3-0, and played a couple heavyweights in the AFC, and now sitting at 3-2. and And those Bengals, man, who day? 4-1. Wow. Three. Wow. All right, up next, dude, in a rematch of last year's NFC Championship game, a huge game with the Minnesota Vikings at the Philadelphia Eagles. Vikes win this one 23-21. Big game. Wow. Yeah, second quarter tied at three. That's when Linval Joseph turned a went sack fumble into <laughs> a fat man with a little ball. 64 <laughs> yards and a touchdown. Yep. Vikings build their lead. Um, Dan Bailey makes up. For two missed field goals with a 52-yarder, that put the uh, Vikings up 23-14. Game over. Not yet, man. Not Carson so Wentz catches fire. Hits Zach Ertz for a touchdown. Gets the two. Sets up the onside kick. But Adam Thielen, baby, adds to a huge day with the recovery, baby. You had a feeling about that one. And the Vikes hold on, man. Yeah, and uh, Cousins puts together a couple of good games now in a row. And he, a, really a big win for these Vikings that are now 2-2-1. Two, two and one. Drops the defending Super Bowl champs now to two and three. Being hunted, not so easy, Dave. That's right. All right. You know what is easy? What's that? Teaming up with SkinIt.com because they're awesome. Sweet. We're doing a free giveaway of a skin and case every week. And this week's winner is Real Xavier. Congratulations, brother. You're going to win a free skin or case. Dave, tell the peoples how they can get a chance. It's quite simple, to win. Casey. Simply follow Skin It and follow Football Radio Show on Instagram, and you are entered with your chance to win. Yeah, get over to the Twitters and see all the tweets, man. Retweet that stuff like crazy, too. All right. But if you don't win a free one, head on over to skinit.com, and when you check out, use FRS20. It's going to save you 20%. That's Not pretty bad, sweet. Not bad, dude. Not bad. All right, Dave, let's keep it in the NFC West with our Los Angeles Rams at the Seattle Seahawks. And the Rams win this one 33-31. Yeah. Great game, dude. Huge divisional matchup for these guys. Cooks and Cup knocked out of this game. Uh, And, wow, this this was a tight battle back and forth, really. 
But Goff rose up, man, with another 300-plus yard game and a touchdown. Fantasy stud Todd Gurley continues his domination on the league. He wasn't over... there when I picked eight. <laughs> he was no. not there when I picked either. 113 <laughs> yards and three touchdowns for Gurley's, man. But you know what? This game came down to the very end when the Rams were up by just two. They got stopped, and it was a fourth and one at their own 40. They chose instead to punt it and not to punt it and give it to Russell Wilson and risk that. They went for it, and they got it, and they were able to finish the game on offense. Love it when the, they go for it, man. It's Yeah, Sean it's McVay, awesome. dude, that's how he's running stuff. They're yeah. going to be aggressive. They're going to play to win the game, yeah. and they got a huge road win on the on the road. A road win that's on the road. The, a road win on the road win. in the division. Wow, great, great victory. Casey, one. total fantasy domination. Get us started. Aaron Rodgers, dude. It didn't look like he was going to finish this Rodgers. game, man. He was getting the crap kicked out of him. Yeah, uh, 452 was. total yards. Three TDs and a two-point conversion, not enough in the loss to the Lions. Dude, and it was the Pittsburgh Steelers, James Conner. The Terminator! At, right, no, James uh. Conner at running back, 185 <laughs> yards and two touchdowns. Le'Veon who? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> and Odell Beckham, dude, 131 receiving yards and a touchdown. And 57 yeah. pass yards and a TD pass, man. man. If was Eli can't do it, yeah, I guess Odell will. <laughs> At tight end, it was Eric Ebron, dude, 105 yards and two touchdowns for the big tight end. Oh, man. Final thoughts, Dave. Week five. Dude. Five weeks. Five weeks of overtime. Extra football is good. Man, that is awesome, dude. And what's not awesome is the kickers, man. Mm -hmm. This whole year, struggling, man. We counted at least 12 at least. missed kicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, Yeah, dude. but you know who didn't miss? Graham Gano hit the big 63-yarder. Wow. To send the Giants to a big loss with no time left on the clock. <laughs> oh, man. And, Casey, it is now just two teams the Rams, the Chiefs, the only undefeated teams remaining. All right, that's the Super Bowl. Let's just go now. Book it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the Sunday Six Pack. We're the football dudes. He's Dave. I'm Casey, and we are out of here.